you need to find out about and follow certain regulations. So for example, any regulatory body such as Ofqual and Ofsted, any awarding organisations who accredit the qualifications, then you've got legal aspects such as data protection, health and safety, safeguarding, equality, counter-terrorism and security such as prevent duty. So Ofqual is the regulator of the qualifications, examinations and assessments in England and vocational qualifications in Northern Ireland. They are responsible for maintaining standards, improving confidence in the system and distributing information about qualifications. So Ofqual give formal recognition to awarding organisations and bodies that deliver and award qualifications. They also monitor their qualifications and activities, including the fees charged. Ofsted, on the other hand, inspects and regulates services in England which care for children and young people and those providing education skills for learners of all ages. They were originally established to inspect schools, however, they now have to inspect all provision in the education, children's services and skills sector. So think about it from further education, Ofqual is going to be the main organisation that you're going to be referring to, whereas Offset is more focused on schools. So if you are assessing a qualification accredited by an awarding organisation, such as Pearson's, Edexcel, City and Guild, they will provide you with a qualification specification. This will contain an assessment strategy which you will need to follow. They also have quality arrangements in place which you must adhere to. So you've got your policies and procedures. You need to ensure that you follow your organisation's policies and procedures. Think of the policy as a statement of intent and the procedure is how it will be carried out. So these should include access and fair assessment, appeals and complaints, confidentiality of information, copyright and data protection, quality and diversity, health, safety and welfare, internal quality assurance. There may also be codes of practice such as behaviour, bilingualism, dress, environment, acceptable use of ICT equipment and management of information and record keeping.